Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Technical Learning. So in this video, we will be seeing the interview question, the Java interview question that is commonly asked about finding the factorial of a number. Now, before that, if you are watching this video for the very first time, then uh, please do hit like, share and subscribe our channel. Right. So now let us see what is factorial. Okay. What, what is the meaning of factorial? So whenever you get this uh, interview question, Java related interview question in the interviews. So let's say if I want to find the factorial of five, so that is nothing but five into four into three and you'll go up to one, right? So this is something somewhere around, this will be 120, okay? Similarly, if we have to find the factorial of six, right? So that will be, 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, right? So whatever the number factorial that you have to find, you have to, every time you have to do n minus 1 of that number. So let's say if you have number as 5, n equal to 5. So every time you have to go n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, so on and so forth up to 1, right? So last value would be 1. This will be somewhere around 720. So this kind of interview question would be asked to you. This is what we will be building in the Java program right now. We'll be writing the logic in Java. And this is a basic explanation. What is the factorial? Okay. Now, in order to write a program, what we will do is we'll take one number as n, which is equal to 5. Let's say if you are trying, if you are writing the Java program to find the factorial of a number, which is five. Okay, so let's take n equal to five. That is one of the variable. Okay, then we'll go for for loop. What we will do in the for loop, we'll start with integer i, right? i is less than equal to, right, n. And why, why we are taking n? Because we need the number which should be less than or equal to it. So if you start from one, so first in the iteration, you will take one. In the second iteration, you will two. it will come to two. Then in the third iteration, it will come to three. In the fourth, it will come to four. And then the five, once it is five, then that loop will end. Okay, so we'll write the for loop, okay. And what we are doing is we are incrementing it. So that's how you will write i plus plus. If you are decrementing it, it will be i minus minus. Okay. Then we'll take one more variable, which is fact. So let's say we take fact as one more variable and we'll keep the value, the initial value of fact as one itself. Okay. So every time we'll calculate fact equal to fact into i. Okay, so now we'll write the Java program for this particular uh, factorial of a program, a factorial of a number program in the IDE. Okay, so let me share my screen. Right, so this is the Eclipse IDE. Okay, you can use IntelliJ IDE also. That is also fine. Whichever IDE you are comfortable with, public static void main. So last time I got one of the comment on this uh, video that I need to increase the font size so that I have taken care. Okay, public study void main. Okay, yeah, so it's a package. First we'll declare class. Okay, so let's keep class name as factorial. Okay, then it's public study void main. So, We'll take two numbers, integer n. Let's say we have to find the value of 5. We have to find the factorial of a number 5. Integer fact equal to 1. Okay. Both the variables are being declared. Now, what will we do next? We'll go for for loop. For i, integer i equal to 0, i less than or equal to Right. And then I plus plus it will be incrementing every time. Okay. Sorry. I less than equal to it will come as 
So let me take the value here. Right, so we'll do for n, okay, which is our this less than or equal to this. If you have to find the factorial of six, then you'll take six here, okay. Fact equal to fact into i, okay. And last, we'll write system dot out dot println. So we'll print the value of the factorial. Simple. Okay. So now we'll write this. We'll run this program. Okay. So two are open. So let me open. Okay. So why it is showing an error? Because by mistake and query we have mentioned here right so these things we have to take care also we have to start from one okay so now let us run this so instead of keeping this in for loop let's keep it outside so now let's run this program right so you got the factorial as 125 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, right? Now let's keep n equal to 6 here. Seven twenty, right? So this is the uh, Java program for finding the factorial of a given number. Okay. And it is easy. It is straightforward. But sometimes in an interview, if you are too nervous, if you are thinking too much, then you might not be able to answer this question right but this is asked in uh, interviews for one or two years experience sometimes for freshers also so this is a very basic program right that you should know and this is how we explain first we explain the logic in the notepad and then we have written this program before you now i made i equal to one right earlier i had kept i equal to zero so let's see what would have happened right you'll get the value as zero because it will not run, right? So we'll be keeping i equal to one. Okay, and let's see the result. Okay, so this is the program, Java program, and it is one of the commonly asked Java interview question for finding the factorial of a given number, right? So this kind of Java interview questions will be asked to you in the interviews when you go for test automation kind of interviews, if you go for, uh, you know, as uh, any any selenium kind, uh, any automation kind of a role, then you will get this kind of question with respect to finding the factorial of a number. If you have mentioned Java, then they will ask you to write the program in Java. If you have mentioned Python, then they will ask you to write the program in Python, right? So thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.